I am Victoria Ogentop reporting for NCTV. Today we're following Cabinet Minister Harriet Harman and local Labour MP for Northampton North, Sally Keeble, on their visit to Northampton College. A politician arrived in Northampton on the election campaign trail in an effort to boost support for the Labour Party in the run-up to the general election. The MPs visited several departments at the college, including engineering and childcare, where they spoke to students and lecturers. So what were you doing before you came into this? I had a little girl, just a home. Right. Member. Right, and what's she doing now? She's she's just at nursery at the minute while I'm doing my course here. So how do you manage that hours well? The wise? college helped me out. I do when she gets to nursery the same hours that I can to college. And so what were you what qualification will you have at the end of the course or when do you finish? Um a level two child, nursery nurse. They also visited the media department, where they were asked some tough questions by the students. Our first question is, why has Labour been promoting further and higher education when it has now cut university places, leaving many students with nowhere to go? Do you think 10,000 extra places will make a significant difference to students currently in further education, especially when further education is soon to come compulsory up to the age of 18? OK, well, there's quite a number of questions in there. But since we came into government um, 13 years ago, we said we thought there should be many more people having the opportunity of further and higher education. And the idea that there would just be a very few people that would do further and higher education, we didn't agree with that. And we had this slogan, for the many, not the few. And we thought that everybody who had the ability and wanted to go to college or uni should be able to do that. And that was a really new policy. And over the years, We've really, really built that up. And in my um, constituency in South London, um, three times as many young people now go to university and college than did before. And many people, it's the first in their generation that's been. Mm -hmm. So we've been building it up, building it up. Now, we've put 20 thousand extra places for the forthcoming year and we we do recognize and you see obviously there's amazing building gone into buildings as well I mean investment into the building so we want to have more students and we want to have you know highly professional teachers and lecturers and we want to have fantastic buildings um, there's the rate of increase of investment is going to be uh, slightly more restrained because of the fact that we've got to put a bit more of a rein on public spending because of the global economic crisis. But um, it's not going to be the case that there's going to be a cut in student numbers. But I think what's happened is there's now much more expectation for people that they do want to go to uni. So, um, you know, there's going to be more places, but there's even more people that want to go to those places. So it's quite competitive. The deputy leader of the Labour Party praised the work she saw at Northampton College, labelling the range of courses awesome and describing the environment as buzzing. But even top politicians can't always have things exactly as they want them. Um, I'm still not entirely decided. I was uh, thinking voting Labour, but I'm not sure on the candidate in my constituency because he's like a new candidate. Um, I might vote Lib Democrat. I don't really know at the moment. I'll probably just decide on the day.